Hello there gang, it's Joel here aka Galax and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am back. I had a bit of a break. I went to Bali in Indonesia, which was insane. I'm finally back in London and I've been thinking of doing this video for a while. It's kind of like a closet tour, um, but with the added extra of how much is your wardrobe worth. Everyone does those how much is your outfit videos. And I did a little search and did how much is your wardrobe and literally no one had done one. And I was like, this is actually really interesting because the amount that people spend on clothes is quite interesting for like resellers and stuff as well, because some people will literally like recycle the same outfit they'll like sell the expensive piece to buy a new one. So the actual wardrobe won't have much worth. Uh, not that it matters, it doesn't matter. None of this matters, it's all clothes. This is just a bit of fun. I'm a full-time fashion blogger. I've been doing it for three years. So a lot of my job revolves around clothes. Um, so I have amassed quite uh, a collection. But I also do get rid of stuff as well. Like I sell stuff that I no longer wear on e-bloggers. Um, so that is like a recycling element to it as well um, because I want my clothes to go to places where people will wear them. And if you are new to the Galax fam, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. It's super, super important. And give this video a big thumbs up. But yeah, so I thought um, I would take you through my wardrobe. And in the corner down here, I'm going to total up how much each piece is a uh, registered resale price and um, so that we get just a full and no no resale prices or anything so, yeah i'm kind of scared i've not done a full apartment tour yet either so if that's something that you're interested in as well then let me know in the comments below so this is my bedroom um it's i really want to get some prints put there if anyone has any recommendations of places to get uh prints then let me know this is my wardrobe um when i moved in actually they gave me this and this is not enough for me um, so i bought these all from ikea um, and put this up i think i'm going to attack this in like uh accessories clothes then sneakers um and go through it that way so it's more methodical for me in my little head so i pulled out some of the backpacks i have um so the first thing is this prada backpack um next Oh, that's lots of change in there. Next up is this Saint Laurent backpack, the Bad Lieutenant one. Next up is the Dior roller bag. And finally, the Louis Vuitton soft trunk from Virgil Abloh Spring Summer 19. I also have this little off-white bag, um, which I wore a lot last summer, but I've not really been wearing that much anymore, but I still really, really like it. That's it in terms of bags. Um, I really don't have that many bags because I just need, you know, my backpacks and my little clutch bags side bags and that's kind of it um next up let's go through the clothing rail so we have the represent shearling from the season um i got this in korea this flannel in korea this balenciaga tee which i recently got from matches fashion and then this balenciaga tee which i got a while ago also from matches this is from nens official and i also have a really similar one in gray Two. And then I have two corduroy short shirts that were here, that are here from that I got in Korea. If you watch my soul vlog, uh, I then have my Prada shirt, uh, my Helia Emile shirt. Oh my god, I have switched my phone off. This ASOS suit, um, which I absolutely love. Uh, this Prada shirt, which I also love. Represent bomber and a classic bagger jacket. I've had this literally for years. Moving on up here, we have the Helia Emile puffer jacket with the. Um, tactical vest as well which they came together like as one the adidas yeezy sweatshirt the hellier emile beaded bomber jacket the add trench which i picked up from asos the uh yeezy season five kind of varsity bomber jacket which has the panther on the back this misbehave coat from this season which i absolutely love and this puffer jacket which i picked up in seoul as well oh i got, I got a few pieces out from my wardrobe which um I thought I'd go through as well. I have these All Saints trousers, which are amazing. This Balenciaga tee. Uh, my Fear of God Essentials hoodie. Uh, misbehave turtleneck. Doesn't look like it right now. Don't, don't know what that looks like right now. Uh, weekday hoodie. Um, the Big Hawk hoodie. And uh, these Hi-Fi FNK denim as well. I thought it would be good to note down as well my ASOS denim that I'm wearing and this Balenciaga sweatshirt which i recently picked up from matches fashion then moving into my wardrobe which is very dark now these are all suits i don't actually wear suits all that often so i didn't think that i'd include them in this video i thought that i would include in how much is your, how much is your wardrobe i would include things i wear all the time like my core wardrobe collection that way it kind of avoids 
Because like I have some like things in there as well that I've not worn in years and it's like, well, I wouldn't really include that in my wardrobe. Um, so yeah, the suits I won't include. Uh, this vintage uh, printed shirt, which I got picked up in LA at a flea market, which is amazing. Uh, this Amiri sweatshirt. Uh, my Saint Laurent shirt with like stars all over it. Another misbehaved coat, the big plain black one. Um, this Arctic Army puffer, Parker. Uh, Zara sweatshirt, uh, represent jacket. And then yeah, I have like little bits of stuff in here. I'm terrible at folding, please do not judge my folding. Um, I have little bits in here, but I look <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I could do these, I can move on to shoes and start with these. So I have these Yeezy military boots and my Dr. Martin's grass boots with the steel toe caps. My shoes are now sitting like along underneath here and in the plastic boxes as well. The boxes for anyone asking are from Box Inc. That's the two X's. People always ask me where these are from. I guess we'll start from the bottom. So we have the Yeezy 500s. What color is that? Oh, I don't remember. Blush. Yeah, blush. We have the Gucci Wrighton sneakers, Valentino Creeper. We have some Zara brogues, which are really, really cute. Uh, just plain Converse. Fredges shoes, uh, Yeezy 700s. I wish I picked up the V2s in white, but I literally, I was away when they came out, so. Uh, just slip on Vans um, from Mr. Porter. Um, Balenciaga tracks in white and orange. And Balenciaga Triple S. These were my first pair of Triple S in black and red. Uh, going down to here. So these were from Zara uh, last season. Um, which I really, really like. And my Vans, which were custom that I made myself with Fearless on the back. Uh, these boots were from Seoul in Korea, if you watch my vlog. They have like a square toe. Uh, another pair of track sneakers, this time in black, which I picked up from Flannels. Old school Vans because you kind of need them. Uh, these Allbirds sneakers, which are actually the comfiest sneakers I've ever worn. Uh, Converse One Star, which I bought for my holiday in Bali because I just wore them like every day. And the Isabel Morant high tops, which I just thought were a really nice kind of design. Ooh, I almost forgot, they were in my bag from when I was shooting the other day, but I have my white Balenciaga Triple S with the nylon here, and which I picked up recently. They look a bit like 80s, you know, or etties, however you want to say it, E-Y-T-Y-S. And of course, the Dior oblique sneakers, which look like Converse, which I've tried to wear more, which I've been trying to wear more often um, because I'm obsessed with them. Um, but I like when the weather is looking like this in London, I really, really don't want to wear them <laughs> because it feels like it's going to rain any second. And then I have my black beanie as well, which was from weekday, which is the stand beanie, which I get asked a lot of questions as well. But I think that's in my gym bag. I don't really know where I put it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like a really quick, super fast run through of my wardrobe. Um, and I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what the amount is in the corner, but there you go, that's how much my wardrobe is worth. And if you're a YouTuber as well, I challenge you to do this video um, and see how much your wardrobe is worth because it'd be really, really interesting to see everyone's kind of full wardrobe. And I love being nosy and looking at everyone's wardrobe anyway. And if you are new to my channel and you do like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell for notifications and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching guys, bye.